Getting ready to do some testing. Got my little setup MacGyver eyes here, some flaming duct tape. Uh, I got the garnet and pool sand out again. And the whole purpose behind that, for the person that people haven't been following from the last time, was garnet's a heavy sand, water jet sand. Water jet media is what it is, about 80 mesh. And then I got the pool sand, which is just a light eighth inch and down to dust uh, media that represents light media, light sand. And I'm going to take uh, some material and I'm going to dump into it. Um, I'm going to put some of this tungsten shavings in there. And I'm going to actually put some sinkers in there for a rollout test. Um, so we're going to mix this uh, tungsten shavings which is the same specific or same density as gold almost and it's it's anywhere from it's fine stuff I'll show a picture of it after I mix it up in the water so we're gonna mix all this up into four buckets the two rear buckets are just pools extra pool sand I kind of feel I got too much uh, garnet in there it's probably about a a 60 40 and so I want to cut two more buckets of the light stuff in there so that there's more light stuff than there is uh, Garnet shavings and we're I mean garnet sand so we're gonna run that through the dream mat And we're gonna see how good of a job it does and the reason we use this Goofy some people would say kind of scientific material is because I can spin out because the tungsten's magnetic I can use a spin it off and I can pull out all the tungsten shavings out of this and put them into a pan and be able to see them, boom, without having to separate and pan it out and go through a miller table or anything like that. I could just use the magnet because everything else is non-magnetic. So this is just a, a, a scientific test of a way to get a good gauge on what the system is doing for recovery and losses. And so we'll do that with the dream mat following behind and then we'll test the other two mats um today with the same material the, the miracle mat and the hog mat and we're gonna see who pulls out the most tungsten shavings and we're gonna see who pulls out um the most sinkers just for a simple little fun test before we do the gold test and the regular material and i don't have the, all the gemstones haven't came in yet so when we do that when i get all the gemstones in we're gonna mix up a couple buckets of material with actual concentrates and material from the creek and we're going to put the gemstones in it we're going to put the gold in it and we're going to do the same test there too and of course this test should coincide with um the the uh this test here you know that even though this is kind of a scientific controlled environment it should mimic what would happen in a real world so we're going to just do a quick couple tests we're going to run this material through and we're going to see the differences we're going to see who today can catch the most tungsten we got about two pounds. So it's going to be kind of embarrassing for one mat. Really bad. I'm sorry to say it. But there are two mats. It'll be kind of interesting. You know, so we'll um, uh, take a look at what's going on. There's our tungsten shavings all washed and clean. You see it's pretty fine stuff. It's got some wiry stuff in there too. But some of it, like right up in that leading edge, you can tell it's just dust. It is. It is just... Nothing but specs. So I overflowed the bucket, got it nice and clean, rinsed out all the stuff that was floating off, you know, just so that it would be, you know, represented to, you know, some clean material rather than just, uh, this is shavings now. So this is like potato chips. This is like, you see those wiry pieces in there. Um, and so this is shavings. So this is going to be a little bit harder to catch than regular gold, even Beach gold. This is going to be hard stuff to catch because they're going to be really thin because tungsten is really hard. So it's going to be really flat machine surfaces, curly cues, stuff like that. You know, on, on, if you looked at it underneath the microscope in dust. Anyways, so that's the tungsten that's going to go into it. About two pounds. Okay, here I got my tungsten dumped in there with my. And I'm going uh, to stir this up a little bit. So, I'm going to fill it up a lot more than this. I'm going to mix in the top layers and I'll... Mix in the rest here. Get it all mixed in. And I'm going to run, start running this and I'll stop between every bucket because I'll have to scoop out of my collection tray and you know, fill the bucket so I don't overfill. Because I don't want to have to 
drain the tub every time to get the material out. But anyways, we'll start running this and see what she looks like, you know. It'll kind of give us a good kind of, um, uh, you know, good swag on what's really going on with these boxes. We'll be able to look at, you know, what's going on in the cells, you know, how much light material's in it, how much red material's in it, which is heavier, like the sands, how much tungsten we're catching, where the sinkers are laying. It's just going to kind of give us a good hint, you know, of what's really going on. And um, uh, then we'll be able to pull the tungsten out with the spin it off. And we'll be able to see who catches the most out of these four buckets and that some amount of tungsten that we put in there. All right, super. All right, here we go. Starting off, what's the feed rate going to look like? Well, we're just going to take a scoop of this stuff and we're just going to put it in here. When I feel it's gone, we'll put another scoop in there. That's going to be the feed rate. So, there it is. So basically just one scoop after another. Not getting too carried away. You know, it's not, not a lot. Seems like top of the map's handling it pretty good. You know, you can see the light stuff coming off. And you see it getting redder. Because that means the heavier stuff is staying. Light stuff is coming off. And that's kind of what we're doing. I'm going to set up the iPad too. Just to so we can watch it a little bit. And get some footage on all of them. Getting ready to put the iPad on there. First couple scoops, we were only like about a quarter way into it. Got some tungsten building up in those cells. You know, and you can see that wiry material. And of course we got slit shots landing in the first row. Cool beans. Had to run the horses off. They're trying to drink out of soapy water. Wife's got them playing in the yard today. You know, they're kind of pets, I guess you'd call them. So, iPad isn't working too good. There's too much sunshine. I need like a polarized filter or something like that. But, you know, you can kind of see. I'm going to sit here and hold it. As the material works itself off, the light material gives place to the dark material. I'm not babying it. I'm just stuffing it in there. The light material kind of just, you know, works its way out. Gives place to that red material, which is the 80 grit uh, water jet sand. First bucket. So you can see that tungsten piling up in them cells. Um, I was dumping out the, the bucket over the, over the top of this, trying to get the last little bit out of there. I was trying to make it all in in here, and I actually dumped it right on there. But anyways, you know, I'm not going to worry about it because... You know, the top solution has got plenty of cells to catch anything that I would disrupt in just a couple rows of cells. I'm not going to worry about, you know, um, that meticulous performance. You know, this thing's got to run good in the worst conditions. Um, and you can see the tungsten. You can see how it's all red. Mostly red and white. I turned it off pretty quick when I was done. So, you know, we let this thing run a little bit longer. It would push all that out of there. Here we got some tungsten down there lining up in those top cells, which is nice. Um, it's going to be an interesting test. Lead hasn't made it past the second row yet. Um, I imagine it will. You know, look at all these lead just stuck in these cells here. Um, anyways, we want to see how she performs in the worst condition. Second bucket's going awesome. I know my, my iPad isn't doing a good job working, picking up this aerial running through here, but as you guys can see, you know, the light stuff is running off. As the heavy stuff is being introduced, that light material is just going to blow right off of there, and it's going to work itself. 
out and the heavy material through the active exchange is going to um, uh, replenish into the cells so you'll have the heaviest material in the cells the heaviest black sands and gold or near the garnet and tungsten see how it's always getting redder it's just pulling off that it's just leaving the building so here we got that light material just leaving the building active exchange that's why we put that light color pool sand in there as a visual indicator so we can kind of see what's going on you know so after the sluice is all done running you know we can see and look into the box who's holding on to more of the light stuff and who's holding on to more of the heavy stuff who's got the better active exchange and who's doing a better job of managing the workload because the box that holds on to all the light stuff is doing a bad job of managing the workload so we want to be able to feed real fast and furious and just throw this material in here knowing that the cells are going to manage the workload efficiently and effectively very fast and catch us that material look at that that's just beautiful I mean I just can't I just fall in love with watching it every time turned it off really quick right after the second bucket and got some gold I mean some lead way down here you know look at these tungsten cells filling up with tungsten you know everybody's always asked me would they eventually fill up with gold well if you look at that tungsten and you look at how easy it is to see the red garnet and you look at that tungsten what's your answer there the answer I think would have to be definitely yes they would eventually fill up with gold because the tungsten has the same basically density as gold anyways so as you can see I turned it off really quick and yet it is all red mostly there's a little bit of in there and I, I could turn it on for a little bit and flush it all out um we're gonna keep feeding these other two buckets and then we're gonna see the results at the end we're gonna count our sinkers and see how far they went down and then we're gonna 14 of each and then we're going to uh spin off the magnetics and we're gonna see how much tungsten is in this top mat and then um uh, then we'll move to the next mat we'll move to uh hog mat there we are beginning the third bucket Yeehaw! <laughs> I just love how that exchange happens with this. You can see it with these colors. That white stuff just blow right off and then it leaves behind the red. Three to two! Awesome possum. Change that material out. In the third run. Cells are still filling up with tungsten. Basically full of tungsten up front. More sinkers. Just red stuff. Tungsten chips. Tungsten wire. Look right there, just getting littered throughout the box. So it'll give me a good um, uh, example of uh, losses. You know, we had probably a pound and a half of tungsten shavings. Um, most of it was probably under 100 mesh. Um, a lot of it was just dust that is was beyond 200, just down to nothing. And a lot of people claim a lot of stuff, a lot of crazy grandiose claims about recovery. You know, that I don't lose nothing, we catch it all, we catch submicron, we even heard some weirdos even claim they catch 600 consistently. Um, and this is going to show, you know, out of that pound and a half of tungsten, how much this catches, we'll compare how much the hog mat catches, we'll compare how much the king catches, really put the, hopefully, a little bit of a um, uh, uh, pop the balloon of the bull crap and really what happens in gold recovery in a sluice box and what our percentages are and people talk um talk it up a lot but results are results and it will it will and those results should be confirmed when we run the gold when we run the gold the big pieces of gold 
and the find all this with it and we do the same test with regular dirt it should confirm there shouldn't be like a difference between these two we should see basically that same capture recovery uh, rate in, um, uh, in losses all right cool beans well I thought I was recording at the beginning of the fourth run but you know I noticed my phone blank screen is gone and I must have just snapped a picture but here I am feeding that last bucket watching the exchange what can I say you know let's watch that white stuff blow off and that red stuff go up cool beans Filling that thing up pretty quick. Definitely not babying it. Got a pretty good pull pack of cells. Barely see the tops of the cells. I see, see that you notice that. See how they clear up now. You know, if I give it a second, they clear up. Doing good, doing good. See lots of blue. Yeah, yeah. Start feeding that guy and see those tips. And that's about it you know so we got active exchange happening and we got a lot of material moving over the top of those cells definitely not baby in it Okay, let's count our sinkers. She had 14 of each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of the barrels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, one way down there. Oh no, it's the end of the world. Uh, we'll see how the other guys compare. Um, can catch their... Um, uh, most of their all their split shots is up for one in the first four inches of their mat first four inches guys one inch two inch three inch four inch Who can catch all their sinkers except for two in the first four inches? Everybody says you know drink mats not good for big gold. It's only fine gold recovery. Well anyways, you know blah 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 They talk and they talk cells completely full of ah get in there completely full of um, uh, black sands stupid sun okay got a little sunshade in there now but now you can see it cells completely full of tungsten 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 almost all the way across completely full except for that middle one's a little blown out there to the, to the right there but completely full well, look at that one that one's just full of tungsten too that third one down got cool stuff all right let's empty these guys out do a clean up and let's see how much tungsten we can spin out and then we'll measure it by volume because we're not going to wait to dry it out to measure it by weight put a little volume cup and we'll see where she goes Look at that tungsten wire in the tops of those cells right there those three pieces spinning out the magnetics for the cons is Kind of a two-handed deal. Let's see if I can. <laughs> so. This is the third spin. There's our. Ah! Slipping off. Put a little bucket down below. Switch it off. So there's our. So we spin off our magnetics. And the. Tungsten sticks right to the spin it off. I pull it all out of here, out of this tub, and I'm able to get all my tungsten out of that top mat. I'm going to basically spin off these magnetics, I'm going to put them in a, like a little cup to measure volume, and then I'll spin off the magnetics for the bottom, put those in the cup to measure volume, you know, take the pictures, then I'll mix them back in and we'll 
do the runs on the next map. Well, there it is. There's Dream Mitt's uh, upper map. Laying right there. Spun out the magnetics. And I'm gonna go ahead and sucker it up. And put these one little cups, we're gonna measure my volume. So, because we're not gonna take time to dry it out. Here we go. We got four tablespoons of teaspoons of tungsten in that one. And we got one tablespoon. Five milliliters. So we got a total of five tablespoons of tungsten. Teaspoons. Five teaspoons of tungsten out of that top mat as the rain starts. Wonderful. Well, I guess I'll clean up the bottom mat in the rain. Yeah, the weather in Montana when you want to test some stuff. Yeah! Uh, tungsten from the dream mat in the bottom. Yeah, quite a bit. Let's check it out. Yeah, here it is. A little over four tablespoons. Teaspoons. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There it is. Over right there, four teaspoons. Okay, so four teaspoons of tungsten in the bottom trailer mat. So basically, what did we catch in the top one? Eh, I forget. Over four. <laughs> so we are getting about the same recovery rate out of all that uh, tungsten, which was about, oh, a pound of tungsten in both mats through there. That's just real world recovery rates. That's just run through this material. And let's see if the other mats can best us. Let's see what they gotta say. Time to step up to the plate.